Welcome to Pickle Space Ball Space 411. In this video, we tried to put the camera a little closer to the non volley zone. There's a, a lot of great things in this game, so. <clears throat> this second point, uh, I want you guys to really look uh, back uh, and, and see the, the, the point construction here. So, that's a nice uh, shot, third drop. Okay. So there is that angle. Look at the footwork. Shuffle, shuffle. Middle of the court. So I didn't try to go for too much on the on the uh, pulled angle shot. I just dinked it down the middle of the court and forced uh, my opponent to drive it at my uh, partner, and he found the opening. So I want you guys to look at that and pay attention. I am Coach Fig. I'm in the red shorts. I'm Coach Debbie. I'm here along with Coach Fig. Nice deep return. Nice third. Keep him back. Find that angle. Nice serve there. Return middle. Nice. Nice flicks. Keep him back. Okay, there, uh, the my opponent in the blue there should have uh, stepped out of the way of the ball instead of backing away from the ball. Nice deep dink, but he did a great job in uh, resetting the dink there, so um, good point there. Nice drop. Uh, I honestly thought that my uh, opponent got my partner there, but that was a good uh, uh, forehand line. There it is again, middle of the court, forcing the changeover, and there it is, uh, a dead dink there, and then my uh, uh, my partner got pegged. That was a good reach. That was a, that was actually a really good third shot drop, but that was a good reach. So that's paddle control right there, observing the pace there. Uh, uh, my opponent hit it right at my feet and I just absorbed the pace and uh, just hit a great shot uh, cross court that's a nice slice right there Yeah, you can see the balls elevated uh, uh, above my head. The best thing to do was just to get out of the way. Another uh, great slice again. You don't want to back up to the ball. You want to step out of the way of the ball to be able to return that slice. Yeah, so that ball was a little too low to drive and my uh, partner anticipated and then uh, hit it down the line. That was a great shot. Yeah, so there, my opponent uh, in the tank, he just uh, caught, was caught a little flat-footed. Way to keep them deep. So that's the key here, just trying to keep them deep, middle of the court. So uh, my opponent in the blue there, uh, he was ahead of the ball there. And if you saw his paddle, it was swinging downward. So that's why he missed uh, pretty bad. That was just a great shot. I, uh, I tried going at his feet. He just took it in the air, got low, and just uh, hit it back at my feet. That was a great shot by uh, my opponent. Okay, this is a funny point. Um, I don't know what the heck he was doing. I guess he was trying to get in his head, quote unquote, to try to bait him to hit a shot. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I guess it worked. Uh, I don't know. I uh, hear they're discussing it, but uh, I guess he should have done that instead of that. So uh, I guess he got in his head. 
Nice third drop there for sure. Way to keep him deep. Uh, he didn't anticipate that shot. That was a great uh, drop by his partner, and he just didn't close the net in, uh, fast enough. He lingered there in the back instead of closing fast enough. That was a nice third. Again, I just observed the pace there. Look at how close I am to the, the ball uh, landing at the net. Okay, so on that around the post, uh, my partner just went way too high. And uh, if you hear him, he's all, you got to cover me. Uh, where am I supposed to cover? Uh, I, I'm, I, we're just a sitting ducks there. So his best play was to at least try to go at, at the opponent's feet instead of high at his body. Yeah, an ATP is a finishing shot. Right. So most people don't cover them. No! Okay, so there, if he was there a little bit sooner, he could have sped up the ball, but uh, he didn't close fast enough. So that was the problem there. That's a great dink. He just uh, didn't flick it. My uh, uh, opponent didn't flick the, the ball there, so he couldn't get under it. So uh, he was over the ball there. Quite a few lob attempts in this match. Yes. There, absorbing the power again. I placed it right at my uh, opponent's feet. And that's how you do it. When, when you're in trouble like that, you just got to absorb the pace. Soften your hands and you will get great results. Uh, this is just what was he talking about? What was he doing? He took off way too early. Uh, this is this is a very crucial point as well because uh, I could have given away my position by uh, covering too soon. Instead, I just covered middle and forced my opponents to make a decision instead of me making the decision for them. For me, I would say buy a lottery ticket. The fact that he won that point after that disaster is a miracle. Yes, uh, so, but the court coverage as well was uh, I, I made my opponents make a decision. That's how you put it away in overhead. There it is again, absorbing. Now, uh, my opponent uh, in the tank there, he's been trying to lob a lot. Now, if he uh, would have uh, been a little closer to the non volley zone there, he maybe would have gotten a successful lob, but that ball was too uh, low in order for him to lob there. But maybe if he was closer to the non volley zone, he would have got that. That's a nice one. Nice two hander cross. And there's the dead dink. So he, he's uh, dead dinking too much and is uh, uh, forcing, not forcing, but now he has the perfect ball in order to get lobbed. So the moral of this story is, is that if you do not want to get lobbed, you need to not dead dink so much. And the, and the, uh, the thing to uh, keep yourself from getting, not being lobbed, is to hit the ball deep or hit it short and low. That's a nice one. Made him reach in the middle of the court, but he uh, reached. So that was a great reach on my uh, opponent's part in the tank top. That's nice. Middle. Uh, he took it way behind there. And we're already in trouble from the get-go. I, I, I probably should have just drove it back instead of trying to reset there. But my partner there just took it behind him. And that was just a bad angle. He needed to hit that ball more in front. That's a good dink right there. He went right at the opponent's feet there, and now he gets the dead dink. So that's the key. If you want, if you want to draw dead dinks, you need to hit at people's feet, and then uh, they don't know how to soften the hands. So now you're gonna get the pop up. There it is, sharp angle. I set my uh, partner up, but he just uh, didn't flick it enough. So. Nice. That's a good dink right there. And there I just found the open court and uh, finished the game there.
So if you like the video, please subscribe and like it. And uh, thanks for watching.